What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Cody. This is Cricket 19 Predicts, fixture number 22. Sunrisers, Hyderabad versus Kings 11, Punjab. And uh, who is going to win? Well, I selected the wrong team. That's all right. I'll change them. Uh, <laughs> anyways, who's going to win this one? Kings 11, Punjab is a team, as you guys know, I like quite a lot. Um, Sunrisers, I mean, I've got nothing against them, but they've got a nice team. They've got, uh, got some uh, wins under their belt as well. And uh, they've got some players that are in top form. Uh, but Vineshwar Kumar is one of them. Johnny Bairstow, another one with a bat, although he didn't do all that well in the last game. Then they've got David Warner, who's out of form, but he's very, very talented. And the man, the myth, the legend, Kane Williamson, who I absolutely love. So uh, they've got a tremendous lineup. It's just that I think Kings Eleven is going to take this one. I think so. Do let me know who do you think is going to win, though. And, uh, yeah, let's get, jump into the game. Before we get into the game, do, do um, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also do consider becoming a channel member. I very much appreciate everyone who has become a channel member. And if you're interested in Dhoni Career Mode, I'm doing that as well on the channel. Check that out. First video is out. Second will be out very soon. And, uh, yeah, fans leagues coming soon your way as well. Now let's get into the game. All right, the Bay International Stadium is where this game's going to take place. And uh, there are the two lineups. Captaining Sunrises is David Warner. Captaining Kings Eleven Punjab is Lokesh Rahul, KL Rahul, otherwise known as. Hyderabad have won the toss and David Warner have a decision to make. And that decision is to bat first. All right, Sherlin Cottrell to open the bowling. For Kings alone, Punjab will be bowling the first delivery to Johnny Bairstow. And that's just a dot to start things off with. Control coming around the wicket to Bairstow. Lovely shot into extra cover. It's going to raise away to the boundary for four. Great start for Bairstow. Off the mark with a lovely boundary. Gets another one in the second over. First over was a great one from Cottrell. Give up only five runs. Shami. Being a little more expensive, he's given up four runs already, and that's a six. So that's ten runs off the over. He's still got four deliveries to go. That's a dot. Oh, well, it was going to be a dot, but that's gone for four as well. Shami's not going to be happy with that at all. David Warner Stern, it is. Now he is a bit quiet. Seven deliveries he's facing. He's not hit a boundary yet. Well, he's just hit his first one of the day. It's a lovely push down the ground from Johnny Bairstow. Is he going to beat the fielder to the rope? No, he does not. The fielder does well. Not giving up the chase on that occasion. But the batsmen have made the most of it as well. They took three runs there, which is very good. Inside edge from Bairstow. That's going to raise over to the boundary for four as well. The crowd's loving it. And I'm loving the fact that there is a crowd in real life. Obviously, there is no crowd. And I want to see the crowd back in soon. Bairstow's looking very good. He enters his early 30s of just 17 deliveries. David Warner has to pick up the pace, though. Gone a bit too slow for a T20. It's given a bit too much room. Warner's not going to miss out on that. That's going to go to the boundary for four. Yes, it does. Lovely bit of batting. They're going a bit slow. I'd like them to pick up the pace, and I can't help but point the finger to the skipper himself, although he has picked up the pace now. That's 50 burnish up without losing any wickets. Oh, inside edge. Lakish takes a catch. First wicket of the day. And it's Brau who takes a wicket. Manish Pandey is the next batsman to walk out to the middle. At number three, he's been so impressive. In the previous games, let's see how well he does here today against Kings Eleven's attack. Well, he started off quite well, quite aggressively. That's two boundaries now. Things are looking very good for Manish and also Sunrisers. That's an even better shot. It's a very cheeky shot from Pandey. Warner's looking good now. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Needs to get some boundaries under his belt increase that strike rate a bit and that is just it well that's exactly what he's doing he's a very experienced player he's got a lot of talent obviously as well as experience and when you combine those two you get someone like david warner someone who's unstoppable he's doing really well here top edge two fielders coming under it i think they will get to it Mohammed shami it is shami kebab Gulabi paji gets to it Chris Jordan gets another top edge. 
I think this time it's gonna travel. Yes, and it does. One bounce over the road for four runs. Pandey will definitely take that. That is a good shot into the gap as well. Four to runs up for David Warner. This is gonna be his first half turn in this year's IPL. I think I spoke a bit too soon. No, it's landed just short. I thought that might be his end, but no, it's landed just short. Goes into the cow corner. They've got a deep middle wicket, but he's played a fine Davy. It's going to be four runs, 46. He's on. That's a very good shot off his body. Is that going to go all the way? I think it will. It has. And with that, he brings up his half turn. 93 meters long, that was. It's a massive hit. What a way to bring up your half turn. 52, he's on of 29 deliveries. He started off a bit slow, but he's going at a pretty good rate at the moment. Pretty rapid. And he's not stopping anytime soon as he smashes another boundary. Lovely hook. There he goes again into extra cover this time. No fielder. Four runs written all over that one. Oh, he's looking too good. He's looking way too good. 66. Alrighty then. Manish Pandey. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. 25 of 28. He's gone a bit too slow. Seems with sunrisers when one player at one end starts picking up the pace, the other slows down. Kano comes out to the Will uh, to the Williams. Wow, okay. Comes out to the middle is what I meant to say. <laughs> Mixed up the sentence with his name. And uh, oh, we've been looking forward to seeing him in action. And that's why there's hardly any better batsman you'll find, a more classier batsman you'll find than Kano. Oh, outside edge, he's got him. All good things must come to an end. Erasmus, what are you smoking? How is that not out? Thick edge. Good decision reviewing that. Look at that. I mean, how do you not give that out? Clearly, clearly nicked it. Not, that's not a nick. He's absolutely smashed that one. That's not a nick, mate. It's a proper shot. <laughs> It's gone for 72 or 41. A very good innings comes to an end. Priam Gorg is the next batsman to walk out to the middle now. Alongside the classy Kane Williamson. It's a fielder on the rope, deep mid wicket. Oh, tries to get to it, but Gorg is too good. It's a boundary off the very first delivery. It's a better shot, much better. No chance for the fielder this time. Gets another boundary. It's looking all right. Looking very good. That's Kane 0 for you. Classy textbook, classic Kano. And there he goes again. Cover drives galore. He loves it. I love it. We all love it. Yep. Now then, into the cow corner he goes. Priam. Picks up another boundary. They've really picked up the pace here. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a good shot indeed because he has cleared the fielder. And not only the fielder, but the rope for a massive 95 meters long sixer of Chris Jordan. Oh, outside edge, into the gap, luckily for him. And that's gonna be four runs. I've lost my voice, it's a good shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go, we're back. Good shot from Kano, good hook. Gets four runs, he goes into a cover again. Love to see him play that uh, cover drives. Such a classy batsman he is, 31 he moves on to. That's the end of that innings. Quite aggressive there at the end from the two. 189, it's got a lot of runs in uh, Dubai. Got a massive boundary. Lukesh, he got 100 this year, his first ever 100. Let's hope he can do something similar to that if it's uh, if Kings 11 are to stand a chance. Bhuvanesh Kumar to open a bowling for uh, Hyderabad. It's a very talented bowler. Him and Mohamed Shami. Two bowlers that I quite enjoy watching, obviously. Then there's Jasprit Bumra. Quite a way to open your account. Lokesh off the very first delivery goes into extra cover and collects four runs. Outside edge, no first slip. Between first and second slip, and that's gone for four. Right, Rahul will take that. He'll take that all day, every day. I got a wild stand. It is now to get some runs under his belt, and that's exactly what he does. Four off the very first delivery, four off the very third delivery as well. One bounce and four. Struck it well, I thought he might smash it for a sixer. 
Ooh, that's gone for four. That's racing away. That's not waiting for anyone. Yeah. Well, that was a wrong one. The googly, the one that came, comes back into you. But Rahul picked it up. He was ready for it. Reverse sweep, trying to be a bit too cheeky. But it's paid off. It's going to pick up at least three, maybe even four now. Well, let's see. It's not a boundary. Are they going to go for the fourth one? No, they're not. Lovely bit of running there. Picks up three runs. Field that's even one run. Uh oh, straight to the field. Oh, yeah. lovely bit of fielding. That wasn't so straight to the field as I thought it would be. But the fielder has done really well. Sharma takes the catch. Mandeep Singh is the next batsman to walk out to the middle. Lovely hook. That's going to go to the boundary for four. First delivery faces. It's good to see. Going out a little, a little under 10 and over. Well, that's going to make it 10. And that's what they need, really. They need that because they're chasing a massive total, 190 to be exact. That's their target. So they need to be going at over nine if they're to win this one. It's a good shot. Finesse from Mandeep Singh. Not all about power. Placement and precision. It's very much part of the equation as well. Lovely shot over the inner circle. That's going to be four as well. 16 runs he's on now. It's a lovely back foot punch. That is so classy. Fielder's not giving up the chase. And he's chased it down. Lovely bit of work. Lovely bit of teamwork. A half picked up three runs there. Oh no, they've picked up four actually. So they've saved nothing in the end. All that effort for nothing. As Rahul flicks that one off his pads for four runs. 28 of 18. Lovely back foot punch again. Is he going to reach the boundary this time is he gonna find it oh yes he will the ball is not stopping this time and it's a beautiful square drive they've got a feeler on the rope they're pushing for the second one i wonder if that's a rescue one is he gone is he that's a very close one i can't really see it so i can't tell if he was gone i'm fairly certain he's gone though let's see Johnny did take a bit too long dislodging the bales, but I think he's got it in the end. I think he's got it. I think the bat is on the line, which is out. Let's see. The bat is on the line, and it's out. Mandeep Singh has gone for 18 of 12. Four runs he scored. Nicholas Puran. What a catch he took the other day, by the way. There he goes. He goes after him. First delivery. Six runs. Lovely bit of work from Nick. 95 meters long as well. Loving it. And he's going after him again. Fielder in play. Is he going to take it? No, he's not. Not unless he wants to step outside the rope, in which case it will be given a six. Rashid Khan not happy with his spell there. Nick sends that one straight over the umpire's head. 98 runs required in, well, 97 now. Oh, that's the end of Rahul. Rahul was the key to this innings. The key to this chase. Look at that same position coming around the wicket as a lefty. It's not easy to do, but Natarajan has made it look quite easy. Forgot about Maxi. Maxwell can really turn it on as well. Let's see how well he does here. Kings 11 really needs him to do well. That's a good shot slash on the offside. It's going to be four runs as well. Eight runs he's moved on to. Oh, Winsett Edge, that's gone. That's the end of Maxi. Kings 11 not looking too good. Now they've got a lot of runs required still. And not that many deliveries in hand. And now they haven't got that many wickets either. Six to be exact. That's a lovely shot from Tarfaraz Khan and that's a six. Tarfaraz though, can he? There you go. Lovely six. Lovely hook from Puran. That's going to be four. 28 he moves on to of 17. Oh, that was a good delivery. Nothing wrong with that. Sarfaraz was just ready for it. Picked it off well off his pads, and that's four runs. Abhishek Sharma comes into the attack. Lovely flick of the wrist. Straight to the fielder, though. No, Glenn's just short. They're going to go for the second one. That's quite risky. It's quite risky. He's gone. That's out. That's out. That's the end of Nick Puran. Nick Puran, a vital, vital part of this chase. But he has to walk. He has to go. He's gone for 30 of 23. Chris Jordan comes out to bat now. That's a lovely shot off his pads. Jordan. George. There he goes. Six runs. That's more like it. Need a couple more of those. 
Lovely flick of the wrist. They've got a deep mid wicket. Picks it up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Batsman in trouble. Batsman in trouble, especially when it's a direct hit. And it is. That's the end of Sarfaraz Khan. Sarfaraz Nedo Kanahidia, but Jordan. Jordan is the one who gave the Doka this time. Anyways, here we go. Chris Jordan. He has to do something special with a bat. He has to. There is no other way for him. I mean, if he doesn't want a mouthful from the coach, he has to. Because he's got Sarfaraz's wicket. And he has to make up for that. Ravi Bishno with the other end. Wow, alrighty then. Lovely bit of batting. That's eight runs off the over. They need a little more than eight. But still, anything helps. George's inside edge, four runs. He'll take it. Does not matter how they come as long as they come. Oh, that's what she said. Anyways, lovely shot off his legs. Oh, I thought I was going to go all the way for six. Does not, though. And luckily for Kings 11. Luckily for Sunrisers, inside edge. Is he going to go for the second one? Yes, he is. Johnny Vesa took a bit too long getting up. They need as many runs as they can get. They've gone for a two. Fairly certain he got an inside edge there. To review that would be foolishness, and he has reviewed it. He is foolish. Also, even if there was no bat, I mean, look at that. That's never hidden. That's never, ever going to be given out. It's a left-handed bowler to a right-handed batsman. You know, it's hitting the stumps, sure, yes, it's hitting the stumps, but at the current rules, that, that is never going to be given out. Even if it hadn't hit the bat. And that's another six. Bishno, he's really turning it on. Oh, outside edge. Jordan is gone. 28 runs, there's quite a lot of runs in T20, though. You have to applaud him. He's done really well in a pressure situation as well. Harpreet Brar is the uh, next batsman to come out to the middle. Lovely shot from Har Harpreet. Gets four runs. Ten runs required now of two deliveries. Standing out to be quite a close one. Two deliveries, ten runs. Is he going to go for it? Well, he's definitely going to try, but he's going to get nothing out of it. Last delivery. All Rush Khan has to do is not bowl a no ball. He's nearly smashed his off stump out there. That's a win for Sunrisers Hyderabad. Nine runs by. So, Cricket 19 disagrees with me. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree with me? Do you think Kings 11 Punjab is going to win? Or do you agree with Cricket 19 that Sunrisers Hyderabad is going to win this one? Like I said, Sunrisers have got a really good side, so I won't be surprised at all if they win. But yeah, do let me know who do you think is going to win. As always, do, like, do hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe. Do consider becoming a channel member. Share the video. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then. Have a nice...